And Bubbles and Wes is coming to pick me up. We're going to go to a pumpkin patch. They wanted to do whatever I wanted to do that day because they kind of celebrate my birthday because they couldn't do it yesterday because Wes had to work. But I said, no, let's do what you guys want to do because Wes does work. And I uh, want him to enjoy his day off. You guys should see the leaves on the ground outside. Let me turn you around. Look at that. All those leaves. Look at that. Look at all those leaves on the ground. There's lots of leaves on the ground. Lots of leaves. That tree's not naked yet. It's working on it. It's starting to change color more now. All right. So this morning, I'll let y'all look at the pretty leaves. This morning, I made fresh banana bread. It's not scratch. It's from a box. But it's semi-homemade, so I made fresh banana bread. Let me show you my fresh banana bread. Okay, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to show you my fresh banana bread. Now, it's a little dark on top. I have to learn how to use this toaster oven. I don't mean to make y'all dizzy. But it's still warm. Oop. There's my fresh banana bread. Don't look at that dark stuff because that does not taste burnt. It looks burnt, but it doesn't taste it because I already ate slice off the end. The bottom isn't. I just got to learn how to use the toaster oven. Um, I used this rectangle pan here to cook it in. And I put this pan underneath it because I know with um, toaster ovens, you have to be careful because a lot of times your bottoms will burn. If your pan is close to the bottom element, I should have put a piece of foil over the top of the um, loaf, but I checked it a couple times and it was looking okay. And then I got busy doing something and forgot and it got a little darker on top. It just looks darker than it really is, but it is good. I had a slice. It's still warm. I had a slice with a glass of milk for breakfast. But as soon as they get here, I'll be putting those boots on. I've got my Halloween leggings on. So I'll be putting on those boots because I think it's going to be a little muddy out at the pumpkin patch. Yeah, I think it's going to be muddy. I still like my new curtain I put up. So I'm just waiting for them to show up. i got to put this phone back on the charger for a minute. Get as much juice as I can get. Before they get here, I'll walk. Oop, that's a lovely view, isn't it? I'll walk the babies before we go. And we're going to go have fun. So, in a bit, guys. In a bit. We are at the Two Sisters Pumpkin Patch. Here's an old tractor all decorated. Very nice. This is going to be fun. Don't stop, buddy. You'll be stuck. Paw paw patch. Mm -hmm. You ever had a paw paw? No, it's a paw paw. It's a wild fruit that grows here that tastes sort of like banana. And I love the very first one or two for the fall, whatever, and then I'm done. Bevels is our local resident. Know everything about <laughs> critters and trees and things you can eat, things you can't eat. <laughs> Best thing about pawpaws is when they get real good and ripe, they're great to fight with. <laughs> they're great to fight with? Yeah, pristine. Oh, you're about throwing them at people. Yes. 
<laughs> and they're good. They taste like bananas. Yeah, they, they are. Pawpaws good. taste like bananas. Okay. Ugh. Put you on hold for a minute. All right, you guys. Kids are going on a barrel train ride. No. I don't want to go. I couldn't get in it. I could get in it, but I couldn't get out. They'd have to tip me all of it. Not as busy as it was last year. I'm going to burn. She's pointing at a sign. That's what she pointed at. Uh, what kind of plant with that? That is a, uh, a mum. A mum? Mm -hmm. It's a dead mum. What is in there? Is that some sort of animal over there? Or is that just... Little baby chickies? Is that a fat goat or a pregnant goat? Hello, Mr. Goat. Hello, Mr. Goat. What's in here? Bunny rabbits? No, duckies. Yeah, there's a cat run up there. I think they had more animals last year. Hello goats. Hello goats. Hello. Are you not fainting goats, are you? Oh, that's right. They just paint over and look like they're dead. Yeah. I think that's with any kind of goat, isn't it? No, They're short little fat ones though. Yeah. Is their food good? Or Tokiro? You ain't got a carrier in there, eh? Alright, Glenna, what kind of goats are those? It's one over there. I see horns up there. Oh, the state gun, didn't it? <laughs> That's a donkey. Mm -hmm. Now, is this a donkey or is this a pony? No, it's donkey. It's donkey? Hello, donkey. Ooh, you stink. Oh, well, yeah, you don't smell so good yourself. I smell pretty good. Yeah, do you? <laughs> <laughs> What's stuck? stuck? I don't think he's. I don't think he's stuck. I thought he was gonna pee for a minute. <laughs> but yeah. It's chilly, 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 chilly. You're not cold, Russ. Oh, he's, he's Mama always wanted to go. I told her no, they jump on the cars. I'm going to pause you guys for the moment. We're going in the other building. 
Last year they had kids out here painting pumpkins. We're going in the store. What smell is it? That's a, the apple or whatever. This smells good. Lilo's candles on the other thing. He passed away. But anyway, uh, it was awesome. And if they said guaranteed on the... Butter they, rum? If they said 250 yeah, like hours, they burnt 250 hours. Uh, I, I don't like the smell of that one. Right there. Mealtime memories. This is a sample one to look at. So it's recipes and stuff. Yes, they do. They throw out a lot of heat. The only time you see those in Florida is if it's by the beach restaurant. And they do actually have them by the beaches. There's cakes and stuff. Breads and rolls. Is that what that is? A wheat stripper? That gizmo there. That's a milker? Yeah. That right there is a milker. I don't think you eat them though. They're more for decorations, aren't they? Yeah. Emoji pumpkins. There's nothing on it. There's no emojis on them. I guess you have to paint it yourself. Get a seven dollar basket. That's cute. Oh, that heater does feel good. Grilling sauce. That's what that is. Grilling sauce. What's in it? Tomato, onion, bell pepper, jalapenos, white distilled vinegar, spices, and garlic powder. No preservatives. It just seemed bigger last year. Because <laughs> it was the first time you were here. No. Yeah, it just seemed bigger. That's the ones I was looking at. Okay, you can take some videos and then do something. Or do the going there. We're going to... I don't want to get lost. 
pumpkin painting over here. We know you don't want to get lost. I don't want to get lost. They have this. <laughs> you ain't been in here. Come on. <laughs> we, do you have to pay to go in it? The maze? I guess. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah, tickets are closed. Well, they changed everything. Please purchase your tickets inside the main barn. Do you have to have a ticket for the maze? How much are the tickets for the maze? Those are giant sunflowers, right? Yep. They look a little sad. They were they weren't so sad last year. But it's probably all the rain and the cold. Oh, no, they're, they're ready to be picked. The seeds are done. Whenever they're drooped over. Uh-huh. Yeah, but it frosted. Well, true. So that's a little history about sunflowers. You guys you can learn something from these two people. <laughs> they can teach you stuff. That would be a lot of pumpkin pies, a lot of pumpkin bread. Yeah, the um, one west room is this that one over there. Now, do you do you thump a pumpkin? No. Oh, you don't thump one to see how it sounds. Now when their oranges are done, those look like they got fungus on them. <laughs> Cinderella. <laughs> called Cinderella pumpkins because when he made the, the coach, remember how the pumpkins yeah. was made? They look fungus. Here's some more variety fungus pumpkins. <laughs> look at this one here. It really looks like fungus. Now you can't tell me but that poor little ugly pumpkin does not look like it's got mildew all over it. <laughs> yeah, warts. This is yeah, it is. When get That's the really problem. ugly. They look a little pathetic. Why, because of the shapes and stuff? I guess. Yeah. I guess you can figure out how to preserve them, but look, that's funny looking. See those big fish eyes right there? All right, what are you talking about? The green things that look like okay, watermelons? They're big squash. They're called a cush -all. You make cush pie and stuff out of them. And I got it. Well, she's, she was my niece for a while, but anyway. My sister would fix Kushaw pie. <laughs> she had tasted it. She didn't like it. She come back to my house and she said, Linda had some old Kushaw pie. <laughs> Is it um, bitter? No. It's sweet? Yeah, they're good. You, my mom used to cut them and uh, just bake slices of them in the oven. And you'd put butter, brown sugar, whatever. It's really good. I mean, they look like funky looking watermelons. Yeah, they're just Kushaw. Are they pink on the inside? No. Oh. But they do, they look like a deformed watermelon. <laughs> They're not. We may be orange and brown, but we do not bounce. Yeah, because I don't want people picking them up and throwing them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, which, uh, uh, don't you have a car seat? Oh, well, yeah. I wonder if they were all filled up this season. Mm -hmm. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think we came earlier than this last year. Mm, but I don't think so. I don't know. No, it doesn't. I don't know if it's because it's too cold, it's too wet, or there just isn't a lot of people here.
these ones right here. Oh, they did. Last year they had corn all up in there. There's some more funky looking pumpkins. Warty pumpkins. Ew, that's nasty looking. Yeah, that's a bunch of rotten. Ugh. Spade the seeds. Yeah. Oh. Now keep them and they'll use it too. Well, I guess it's good. Okay. Okay. Okay, you guys, the pumpkin patch was a little bit of a letdown, but it was still nice to come out and see it. Just a tad bit. Now let's see if we can get an excitement and get stuck getting out. That's the excitement that could happen. And if I get Rhea stuck, they're going to blame me. Yeah, you got to get out and push. <laughs> I don't like to push. One time. Two sisters pumpkin patch. We done it. We done it. There's the cornfield that we didn't go in. I was afraid of getting lost in there. You don't get lost for a time. May take you a little bit to get out. Do they typically put the sunflowers around cornfields? No. Oh, okay, they just did that to make it prettier. Yeah, they do that every year. Alright, in a bit, guys, in a bit. See what's gonna happen next. We're in old downtown Mount Sterling. I like to look at old buildings and see the old writing that's in the tops of the buildings. Yeah. And it kind of tells what it was at one time. And you can tell what was like a pharmacy or something sometimes because it will have like um, tile in front of the opening. Yeah. And it, sometimes it might be an RX like symbol. I've been around and down in, but I just thoroughly enjoy looking at this old stuff. I mean, there's a part of me that would love to live like, like a house in an old town like this. Oh, look at that old house way back in there. But at the same time, I don't want to live down in out town. Is that a medical facility there on the right? Yes, it's a nursing home? Living, yeah. Used to be an old school. There's an angel carving back behind there, though. I saw that with Suzanne because I think she goes to the doctor down in there. I think the back side is the doctor's office. Some of these old houses, people. Now, is this the part of town I know? Mm -hmm. Well, far heaven, I mean, I don't know much. I think I've been in that pawn shop. Mm, you had to be in it last year or before. Is that guy got this? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> oh, they had to give him back. That's the candy shop up there, isn't it? Guys, this is where if I go hunting, I'm going hunting at. Can you even see anything over the grass? Yeah. You can see over the grass? Yeah. This is where I'm going hunting. <laughs> well, we don't have to walk this road right here, right? You're gonna make me walk down the road, right? Yeah. Remember, I have a heart condition. <laughs> Don't kill me. Hello, my brother. <laughs> yes, sir. You? <laughs> Can't you get Mama to do that every now and then for you?
<laughs> yeah, Wes is talking Not to Blue. Not doing good today? Mmm. Oh, Blue has his name on his truck. Mm -hmm. I don't want to videotape his truck. Oh, yeah! I, that's exactly right, little buddy. You too. This is where he's taking me. All right, in a minute, guys. All right, y'all. This is what we're going down into. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to get a Jager. Or a tick. Oh, Look at them flowers. Oh, it's not flowers, the leaves changing colors. What if you come out early enough? Can't you drive down here and wait? Mm -mm. <sighs> <laughs> she said she was at nine. The deer don't seem to care whether or not you got mm -hmm. a car out here. Yeah, they do too. They do? Everyone that was around here is done gone. What now? I'm gonna pull some corn out. Pull some corn out? He's feeding the deer. That's why he bought that bag of corn. Oh! See, he's getting, he's getting the persimmon corn, but uh, Andy, had some kind of... How thing. soon does he plan on doing this hunting thing? It's in November. Oh. You start putting corn out now? Yeah, people's been doing it for a while. He's running late. No, I want to just put my butt in your face. <laughs> yes, I recorded that. All right, Wes is putting some corn out. Because I guess I'm going to torture myself and walk through the woods in the dark, fall on my face, hurt myself somehow. Honey, I don't have life insurance. You better get some. It's cold. It's chilly, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna freeze. This ain't nothing. <laughs> what does that mean? A deer walk through there? Or something? Oh, him looking up. Sorry. Well, he's lifting up branches yeah, with a knife. Can he tell if a deer has been through or something? Uh, yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna freeze doing this. This is not cold. It's gonna be colder when we go hunting. <laughs> You're gonna walk a long way. It's gonna warm you up. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking when I said I wanted to go hunting. I got this idea in my head or something that maybe we were gonna like get in trucks, go park someplace, get out of the truck, walk just a little bit, and go hunt something. I didn't realize you had to work so hard to go hunting. What's wrong? Huh? What is wrong? I'll have to mind she's weak the Johnson guys now. When are you going hunting? Would it be November? Yeah. Would it not be cold and already frosted? Then we'll still be standing up. Okay. But I thought we wanted something like that. But so they can't see us. We're we're gonna be on the edge of the woods. We're gonna be over there? Yeah. Now when you said we had to walk sideways, is that what you right there? Yeah. Well that's not so bad. You made it seem like we were gonna go up like on there and go walk sideways. It is like that. <laughs> <laughs> it don't look that that way. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> no, you're not. Yes, I am. No. Now why did you take the knife and lift up the the the, the, or, or the wishbone looking thing? But, looking because of the ground to what was the deers have been playing around there and I was looking and seeing if they was higher or... Okay, I wondered if that's what you were doing. But if I touch it with my hand... They'll smell you. Yeah. 
But right now you don't smell too bad. If I, <laughs> if I would have started this back in September or August, I could bring my truck up in here and sit into my truck and leave it running. And it wouldn't bother them. And you, she did, you just now told her that, and she's like, I know. Well, we can do that. <laughs> well, the reason why that I don't do it here. It's because of that one right yonder. We can still do that. <laughs> well, I, I don't have to have the 100% full experience. Yeah. I just need to shoot a gun. Oh. You want a couple more bags of corn? I'll buy them. If that's all I've it takes got... is corn to get me not to have to walk through that thing there. Well, well you got to walk through that. We have to walk through that right there. That does not make sense to me. But that's okay. You can't come right down to where the deers are going to be to shoot them. Why not? Because they won't stay there. You have to be hid and watch them come out and blah, blah, blah. That's how that works. That's not what happens when I'm sitting on the pot at home. You're inside the house. It's a little different. Yeah. Take you, your pot outside. <laughs> Before them deer come through and just sit down. <laughs> and sit hey, there's down. picnic tables out yeah. there. That's a shooting ring. That's where you're Are going. you allowed to drive up to that? Yeah. That's where oh, okay. Going. That's where we're going to park. At the shooting range? Yeah. Oh, that's still not as bad as I thought you were going to park way down there. No, up there. Well, you, if, I still I can, if we can't. If it rains enough and I can't get in here, yeah, we'll park out there right by the trailer. And then we huff it all the way through. <sighs> just tell me what direction you go and just wait for me at some point. I'll run into you, right? <laughs> it is pretty, y'all. Look at that. Yeah. That's where it, he was, this is where he's going to bring you to the target. Do you have targets set up? I don't know what I ain't been back here. I don't know why that happened. See, it's interesting for you too. Yeah, it's like his cousin. This is mowed down nicely. Look, somebody must sit on top of a picnic table. Tell them I painted them all again. Those are the practice targets? Oh, I wouldn't know if I shot something or not. Yeah, you would. Oh, you hear it go ping? Boy, the picnic tables had a bad day. Yeah, that one had. And there's targets all up that holler. Guess I just need to be the gun. Bring the gun out. It's pretty. It's just missing a cabin on the side of the lake here. <laughs> the little pond. It's a pond. Not a lake, it's a pond. Take her to Berkeley. We still haven't met on detective lady. No, we haven't. I still got him. I like where the pins are for me. What's a firewood for when you thaw, thaw yourself out from being in the woods? Uh, that. They probably camp back here. We'll park right there. Okay. We'll walk across the branch right there. Walk right up the hill, right around the side of the hill, all the way around through yonder. You're done. Huh? Nothing. You're done? You're done. Thank goodness Wes is a big guy. He's not one of these skinny little springy things. Because I wouldn't be able to keep up at uh, all. Well, parking out here by the big tree to there, me, Isaiah, and Johnny, nine minutes. Wes stores all of his energy for <laughs> hunting. Is this like a shoe sale? 
yeah. kind of adrenaline. Yeah. And just like, um, you can't get out of the bed early for anything else, no matter what's going on. Uh, I get out of but bed you say, times. hunting, boom, son, he's gone. Bouncing around at 4 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Oh, hunting trip. Going out state or whatever. Oh, my goodness. All right, you guys, so this is where I'm going to go hunting. All right, later. Oh, Lord. Holy crap. Am I going to go down? In mind. Well, what'd you do, miss? <laughs> I the box and not. Oh, did you hit the box? Mm. You still didn't get it? Nope. Got a lot of adjusting to do. Want to fall. That's what I said. Did you get What's the matter, Wes? Well, it's loud enough it ought to have plenty for her. It's a kid's gun. Did you forget? Well, my that moment ain't got much more than that. I just can't believe that's all. So, what does that mean? Horse side it and get it tied in. Well, <laughs> I, feel, I feel like we're talking a different language here. Yeah, you are. <laughs> he'll, really he'll help you. Are you recording me? Yes. <laughs> I'm holding a gun upside down. Somebody's going to be like, You shouldn't hold a gun like that. <laughs> it's empty. He walked off. I think he's well, he just. Went in to get bullets. Yeah, I know. I think he's just really upset. He figure out how to get it out. Well, that was good. It's heavy sucker. It's a kid's gun. I don't care what it is. It's heavy. Those are little men who buy these things and get so excited because they're going out with Papa or Daddy <laughs> or whoever. All right, you said it goes in like this, right? Yep. You put it in and you push it back. I'm going to go back. All right, here's my back. Put the other one in. Cut my finger. Push it back in. And then I put it in like this, right? Yep. Like this. Okay. And I look at this thing right here. <laughs> and I see my box. And I shoot, right? You gonna see them crosshairs in there? Yes, I can. You gotta put that X dead on what you're gonna shoot. And I'm what part are you going to shoot of that box? I'm trying to shoot the machine. His finger? Yes. Right here? No. Well, get that finger off the top of that barrel. Right here? Right there. That's better. I lost the box. <laughs> yeah, but you can't shoot right now. Because you're right beside me. Uh, well, that's true, but you're not loaded. Oh, I got to do something here? Yeah. Can I do this? Pull it yeah. back? Push it up. 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 Oh, no, it's not. There you go. Now go back down? Yeah. Well, now, now don't put your finger in the trigger. Get your finger out of the trigger because it will go off. I have to push that thing back? Yep. Now you got to push it. You got to push it forwards to shoot it. Oh, I got to push that thing forward? Yeah. Then put your finger okay. on the trigger. It's heavy. Here's my box. Here's my box. Ready? Deep breath. Hold. I'm going to be deaf. I'm going to have a bruise. It didn't hit the box. No, it didn't hit the box. Oh, I'm going to have a bruise. <laughs> right here. Oh, that hit. Up. Now watch out because you still got another bullet in there. You got your safety on. It won't once it falls. Well, I don't care. Oh, she needs to. It's not in the holster, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not in the chamber, right? Right. 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 But right. you need to get in the um, habit. Yeah. I just tried to pull it back and it won't. Come. It won't come down. Because it's a bolt action. And now, if that was an automatic, mm -hmm. 
Whenever you pull that trigger, <laughs> there'd have been another bullet in that barrel okay. ready to go. But so, what do we have to do to make it line up? Because I saw that box. Well, it's, I'm going to have to get a bore sider, get it bore sided to save shooting because it can take up to 50 shells or better to get it and be rolled in. I don't know what the deal is. That should have been dead on from, from Cabela's. But anyway, you shot it. Do you want to shoot it again? I want to shoot it again because I was on that thing. <laughs> oh. What is that? Don't raise your head up. Leave your head on your Finger arm. off the barrel. There you go. Take a deep breath and hold it. Son, it made me jump. I'm going to be deaf. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's probably enough because you probably are going to have a bruise. Ooh. We'll be right here. <laughs> oh, I hit the button. Okay, you guys, I'm back for just a minute, just a minute. Okay, Wes and Bevels took me out today. We went to the pumpkin patch. Then we went to town and had dinner at... They took me to lunch at that King City China Buffet or whatever, Chinese food. Um, then we ran to Walmart because I needed a couple things. And for my birthday, they gave me this. I know some people are going, your friends gave you a cast iron pan and you don't even have a stove or an oven. But you guys, guess why? Because... I have a burn pit they gave me when I came back up here. And this will actually fit in my oven here. My little toaster oven will actually fit in it. But I can use this on the burn ring. And I can cook out there if I grill out. So see, okay, so if I wanted to throw some, say I wanted to throw some, meat on the rack and then I wanted to throw some vegetables and potatoes or something in the pot in the that's stuck in there hope that comes out okay hope that comes out okay I can actually oh come off I thought she was buying this for herself when we were in there and then she said when we got to the house no that's for you I'm like what she says no that's for you that's your birthday present I'm like oh thank you so, I was a little excited. I got a lodge, cast iron, lodge, cast iron, made in Tennessee. Taste the natural difference of just iron and oil. Oh, it's seasoned. I attempted to do this a long time ago, a long time ago, like 20 some years ago, and I was not successful. So, hopefully... I don't screw this up. So right now I'm not going to do nothing with it. I'm going to wait until another day and I'm going to wash it a little bit. She said wash it a little bit, put it in a little toaster oven and dry it out good. And then she said put some olive oil or something on it. So that is what I will do in a day or so. But I got a cast iron pan from my friends for my birthday. Oh, that's so nice of them. It's so nice. I'm a lucky person to have them in my life. I am. I'm so glad I met them about three and a half years ago. Three and a half, four years ago, something like that. But I'm going to end this video now. I uh, I sent Wes home with uh, what was half of what was left of my banana bread. And I gave him the other half of my my ribs. From last night because I don't like leftover ribs I don't and I told him that if I was in Florida my Florida husband would get my other half of my ribs so since I'm in Kentucky my Kentucky husband should have the other half of my ribs so um but I had a really good day I can't I had a very good day with them today very good day I enjoyed it so um I'm going to go, go for now because I don't know how long this video is. And I'm going to say like and subscribe. If you don't like my videos, I'm sorry. But enjoy the craziness of life because you might just laugh about it. 
we watched the little, we real quick like watched the little segment of uh, me shooting, Wes and I did, because Bevels is the one who recorded it. And um, we both laughed at me. We both laughed at me. But he said it would be entertaining to take me hunting. So he showed me, like I said, you can see earlier that he showed me where I'm going to hunt. So I'm going to get off. I'm going to get off. So bye, bye, bye. See you on the next video.